Hello to everybody, we are here again in a new video and in this uh, chapter we are going to talk about cells nucleus and its function. Would you like to do that, Nina? Hi, yes, I'd like to tell you about the cell nucleus. Okay. Are you okay. ready? Oh yes, I am completely ready, so whenever you want. So, as we saw in the last lecture, all eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. Okay. This is where their DNA is located. So, the DNA is surrounded by a membrane, a double nuclear membrane. Okay. You understand? Yes, uh, okay, because I'm showing here the double membrane that is very nice designed, the, the 3D model. I don't know, designed or it is show, uh, shown uh, here? Visual. Like, yeah. It is visible here, yes. Okay, very visible. Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so when a cell is not in a state of division, also known as interphase, its nucleus is more or less spherical and located in the center or near the periphery. Uh -huh. Inside are the DNA molecules, and during interphase, we can distinguish the following structures. So, the first structure is the nuclear membrane. Uh -huh. Can you yes. see it? Yes. Yes, I am showing here in the 3D model. Perfect. Okay, so this is a covering formed by two membranes and that connects with the endoplastic reticulum. Okay, I'm going to... Yes, I think it is shown here that... Okay, yes. Reticulum endoplasmatico. Reticulo endoplasmatico Rugoso, rugoso y liso, y rough, liso. endoplasmatic, reticulum, and smooth, and it's smooth, liso, smooth because it's suave, no ten ribosomas, suave, suave. there is no ribosomes on it, okay. So the external membrane is covered with ribosomes in yeah. the rough, rugoso. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. The membrane also has nuclear pores. These are perforations that allow substances to be exchanged between the nucleus and... Okay, yeah, let me... I'm showing here the pores, okay. Yes. So what this, this allows exchange between the nucleus and what? Uh, the nucleus and the cytosol. In the cytoplasm, good. Yeah. Okay, so the nucleoplasm is another structure. This is a gel found in the nucleus formed by proteins. Okay. Okay. And um, what else? And the next structure is the nucleolus. And what is it? N nucleolus. Nucleolus. Nucle nucleolus. Wow, it's nu so nucleolo, we say in Galicia. Nucleolo. nucleolo. Esta nucleolo. zona aquí que va a explicar Nina tan densa. Nucleolus. Okay, so this is a rounded structure that is darker than the rest of the nucleus because its proteic structure is so dense. It has got two types of elements. Okay. DNA and... RNA, RNA. Filaments. Both. This is where... DNA and RNA. And this is in the nucleolus. 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 Okay. And this is where the components of what are created? Do uh, you know? Of uh, ribosomes? Yes. Perfect. So our next structure is chromatin. Okay, for this, I'm going to find here a new model. Just one second. Okay, I'll wait for you. <laughs> okay, I've got it here. So oh. I've got this structure here is DNA, okay? And uh, so, what are going to, uh, what, sorry, what are you going to tell us? About the nucleolus or the, the chromatin? The chromatin. Okay, so this is made up of DNA filaments and proteins. Okay. During okay. interphase, it is very decon uh, decondensed, but during cell division, it condenses, forming DNA structures named... Um, chromosomes? Chromosomes, correct. Okay, I've got it here ready. Okay, yeah. it's a chromosome. Perfect. Okay. Any single chromatin filament will form one chromosome during its division phase. Okay. Are we okay? 
Uh, I think so. I'm quite sure everybody understood everything perfectly. Perfecto. Seguimos. Um, can you tell us something about the function of the nucleus? Yes. So, the real function of the nucleus was discovered in the 20th century. Uh -huh. By who? The biologist... By who? The biologist Joaquim Hammerling. <laughs> ah, Joaquim Hammerling. <laughs> yeah. Revealed that the nucleus has two fundamental functions. Um, so... What, what are they? So, it contains hereditary information uh -huh. that determines the characteristics of the cell and the organisms they're part of, and it also controls the activity. Así que, o que vais a hacer, las funciones fundamentales son, contén la información hereditaria, fundamental, ¿de acuerdo? Que determina las características de las células y e los organismos que contienen esas células, y, y controla la actividad de la célula, a, a, o metabolismo celular y actividad celular, ¿no? Eh? Muy bien. Muy bien, pues yo creo que les quedó a él es clarísimo, en inglés y en galego, por partida bueno. doble. ¿Qué más podemos hacer ahora? Pues a estructura y a función, los organéis. Das, das Or... organulos. Eh, Or... Ahora, ahora pillé que, 